Chairman, members of the House, thank you for allowing us to come and share. Okay. Okay, well, thank you. We appreciate uh, the fact that uh, we have this partnership with you and the governor and the extended public school family to improve public education in North Carolina. The State Board of Education and the Department of Public Instruction are your resources to help you identify important changes that are needed in our public schools. We serve as your administrative arm for the implementation of your initiatives and the distribution of resources you appropriate. The monitoring of your programs and your researchers for changes and improvements to your initiatives. We take this partnership seriously and we are proud of how we have implemented the important initiatives that you have targeted for our public schools. While our, while our entire work is to manage all the legislative requirements and programs outlined in our public school laws and account for all of almost $9 billion that we are given to accomplish the, those tasks. Some of the recent examples of successful partnership with your visions are implementing Read to Achieve, expanding connectivity, into the schools, reviewing standards, establishing and monitoring more uh, public charter schools, including most recently uh, dropout charters and virtual charters. As you know, we have a lot of old and new challenges each year in our public schools. You fund at least 185 days of instruction for over one 0.5 million students where the school buses travel 1 million miles every day where over 184,000 people go to work every day in 2,600 schools and where 1,276 meals about 1,276,000 1, meals are served every day and where we prepare our children to be career and college ready which of course is the most important thing that we do uh, somebody's put some things you know you read in the newspaper all those by the numbers um, so here's some numbers that are kind of interesting somebody's put together one million miles like our buses travel every day that is the daily miles that all Greyhound buses travel nationally per day. Um, 184,000 people employed is more than Ford Motor Company, Walt Disney, and CVS individually. Or it's about the same as uh, uh, American Airlines and Cracker Barrel combined. And, uh, 1,276,000 meals is more than all the McDonald's. We have 475 McDonald's in North Carolina. More meals than they serve each day. So, got the numbers now. The key to our partnership with you relates to the State Board of Education's continuous research as to what will help each public school student be successful. We bring results of the State Board's work to you in many ways from policy changes to needed changes in resources. Today we are focusing on what our research indicates would be helpful funding changes for next year. We look forward to many other opportunities where we can share with you many other non-funding initiatives that the state board has been working on on your behalf. Our public schools look after the state's most precious resource over six hours every instructional day. 
while there are a lot of activities and operations involved in managing over 1.5 million students every day, the only important or most important thing we do is create an environment that facilitates effective student learning. So what we know is needed is to create the appropriate environment for learning, and that includes, of course, a quality leader in every school, a quality, well-prepared teacher in every classroom, a competent support team for every teacher at school, a clear, understandable roadmap to what must be learned at every grade and in every subject, accessible instructional materials to support the delivery of instruction at each grade and in every subject, a plan or program to ensure that each teacher has access to professionals that can help help them with preparation, delivery, analysis, and personalization related to how to reach each student and assure that they can successfully learn. A safe and healthy and comfortable environment for our students and school employees. The State Board of Education listens and has listened to our public school leaders, our students, students, parents, our business community, and our citizens to establish what is needed to be requested to strengthen our schools. To address the State Board of Education's research outlined as the needs to help address the items we, uh, we have just listed, we have identified six major priority areas related to funding needs. And of course, that is teacher salary increases, digital learning, recruiting, retaining, and supporting our teachers, state agency support for public schools, general classroom support, and our residential schools. Uh, Dr. Atkinson, who is constitutionally the chief administrative officer of the State Board of Education, I'd like to ask her, Mr. Chairman, to come forward now and to delve into more detail as to our request.